Malika. What was that? Ah. A person? He's strangely equipped for an Athenian soldier. I will admit he is kind of handsome. Wait, is he dancing? <laughs> he is a terrible dancer. <laughs> and cute. Yeah. You're right. We've been alone for long enough. Time to get us a hubby. Okay, girls. Set snakes to stun. Hey, cute but terrible dancer. Over here. Gotcha. Wow. He's really cute. Eros has really struck me with one of his arrows this time. Hopefully, he will be cooperative. Ugh. He's a bit heavy. Whew. There we are, handsome. Home sweet home. What is that glowy thing in his bag? It's like a moving mosaic. I wonder who made this. Archimedes? Apollonius? Pythagoras? Maybe that Roman they sent to Egypt? What was his name? Vitruvius? The image is so lifelike. Malika! It makes a noise? Huh. I kind of like this noise. I guess this is modern music. Yes, it's no Marcius or Orpheus, but it's quite catchy. But I wonder, what is a Ziggy Stardust? Who are the spiders from Mars? Does Ares command legions of spiders? I'm also curious what else is in his bag. What is this liquid? It kind of looks like wine, but with bubbles? What is this material? It's clear like glass, but flexible? Malika, why does everything my future love owns make a lot of noise? Oh no. Did I just release a gin? Hmm. No gin, I guess. Wow, it's like sweet wine, but bubbly. You're right, we should actually meet him. Alrighty, girls, unfreeze the top half of him. Oh, uh, let me get that last piece off your face. Hello, cutie. My name is Thalia. Yes, it's the same name as the muse of poetry, comedy, and dance. Unfortunately, I can't really do any of those, so I'm not her. Yes, I'm a Gorgon. Wow, you're really smart. Most people assume I'm a Lamia. I remember one person who stumbled into my cave thought I was one of those Oceanids, but I'm nowhere near the ocean. An archaeologist. Wow. I can't say I know exactly what that is, but that makes you sound so smart, honey. Wait, you must be like Herodotus. Yay. Oh, uh, forgive me. I had some of your bubble drink. Soda. Hmm. I thought it was a kind of wine. What year is it? Wow. I don't know.
don't know what exactly that means. You must be using a different calendar than the Greeks use. It's been a really long time since I've seen another person. What was the last thing I remember happening in the world? Hmm, let's see. I remember well not too long before the Athenians sealed me away. I remember it was a huge deal that the Roman general Julius Caesar married the Egyptian pharaoh Cleopatra, and they had a son, Caesarion. I remember a nymph told me about it. B.C.? What is that? Before Christ was born. He must have been a pretty important guy to have dates named for him way before he was born. Prometheus must have been thinking ahead of time as normal. So, you're saying that I've been in this cave for a long time? Like, a really long time? Oh my. The world must have changed so much. I've been alone so long. When I was a little snakelet, we lived on the island of Laconia. One day, Spartan warriors ravaged my village and kidnapped me by putting me to sleep with some sort of miasma. They were trying to use me as a weapon to win against the Athenians in the war. When they first attempted to attack Athens, the Spartans attempted to use me, but when they took off the blindfold, I turned them all to stone. I fled into a cave. This cave you're in right now. I tried so hard to befriend the local Athenians, but they were all afraid of me. It was so lonely. Sometimes I'd freeze the people who'd explore my cave and talk to them, but then I'd feel bad. When I'd try to let them go, they wouldn't understand and try to kill me. All I could do was to turn them to stone and use them as decorations or smash them to pieces. Thank you. You seem very kind, even though you're the first person I've talked to in 2,000 years. Even though I turned you to stone. You don't seem really terrified of my appearance either, which is strange. Most people start screaming the moment they see me. Pretty. You... You really think I'm pretty? Even with the bright yellow eyes, greenish skin, the sharp fangs, the tail? I'm pretty? You think I'm as pretty as a goddess? Hush with that talk. Malika, if the gods heard you, especially if that vain bitch Aphrodite heard you, we could both get in serious trouble. The gods are very insecure. They could turn us into flowers or animals for that kind of talk. It's okay, cutie. I know you mean well, and I appreciate it. Unless... You're not just trying to flatter me to run away from me, are you? You mean it? Wow, that's a first. I know you're the first person I've seen in thousands of years, but you also are the nicest human I've ever met. I really like you a lot. I might even love you. You don't feel the same? That's not fair. I'll turn you back to stone and you'll be with me for another 2,000 years. I... You're right, I apologize. Epimetheus has blessed me with the realization that the reason a lot of my relationships don't last more than 20 minutes is because I come on too strong and I turn them to stone. I apologize for letting Eros's arrow cloud my judgment. We could have a love that rivals all of the power couples of Greece. Hades and Persephone, Eos and Tithonus, Eros and Psyche? Just not too much. I don't want you being turned into a rock or a roach or something because the gods are envious of our love. Do you think we could travel? Much like you, I too have been enamored by a foreign land since I was a snakelet. 
I've always wanted to see Troy, Rome, Hispolia, Gaul if it's not too cold, and especially Egypt. Oh my goodness, I've heard Alexandria is beautiful this time of year. Oh. Well, sweetie, that's where you can provide me context on how the world has changed. Oh. Uh, I guess I can unfreeze your lower half. I'm just afraid of you leaving me. Do you promise not to leave me if I unfreeze your waist? You'll kiss me? Okay. This feels so good to finally have someone to spend time with. Sweetie, are you okay? Your face is really red. You don't have a disease, do you? Do I need to find one of Hippocrates' students? Oh, I'm sorry, cutie. I just got really excited. What should we do next? A movie? What is that? Pictures can have sounds? Art has sounds? Is this like Pygmalion? Don't laugh at me. I've been trapped in a cave for 2,000 years. What witchcraft is this? Those pictures move when you move your finger? Can anyone use this magic? Did Prometheus give us another tool from the gods? This is crazy. So many movies, as you call them. What is this Lord of the Rings? Wait, Hercules? Firstly, this is the Roman pronunciation of his name. It is Heracles. Secondly, Heracles has a movie? Hmm. Honey, I want to view this movie. What should I do? So I just tap it like this? Oh, Malachi, I dropped it. I'm so sorry. Okay, less force. I understand, sweetie. I'll get used to it. You're very kind to me. Very patient. Thank you, honey. Sweetie, may we cuddle? You can lay your head on my bosom. Yay! Oh my, you're so warm. Your hair smells like flowers. I... I want you closer. Are you comfy? I'm not crushing you, am I? Good. Look, I know you said you don't feel the same yet, but... I do think I really love you. Hopefully, sooner rather than later, you'll feel the same. <clears throat> I'm very excited about my first movie. It's okay, I know how to pronounce these words. I'm subscribed to OSP. 